Hello everyone, how are you? I'm Bhagavan. I'm fine. So in this video, we will discuss about human brain. Okay. So let's start. Is reflex action the only function of the spinal cord? Obviously not, since uh, we know we know that uh, we are thinking brings a spinal cord. Okay. So here's the question that uh, uh, is reflex action is the only function of the spinal cord? No. Obviously not to, uh, since we know that uh, we are thinking brains, okay, and the spinal cord uh, is made up of nerves which supply information to think about it. And uh, we all know that the spinal cord is uh, made up of uh, neurons, sorry, nerves. The spinal cord is made up of nerves which have to supply information to think about okay thinking involves more uh, complex mechanisms and uh, no, neural connections these are uh, concentrated in the brain which is the mid which is the main uh, coordinating center of the body okay and uh, thinking uh, thinking involves more uh, complex mechanism okay and uh, neural connection and uh, this concentrated uh, in uh, in the brain which is the main coordinating center of the body okay brain is we all know that brain is the main uh, is the main coordinating center of the body the brain and the spinal cord constitute to the central ner ner nervous system. They receive information from all parts of the body and integrate it. So we are integrate it. Brain and uh, spinal cord cord. constitute the central nervous system they receive information for all over the uh, all parts of the body and and integrate we also think about our actions like uh, writing talking moving a chair Clapping at the end of a program are the example of voluntary actions, which are based on deciding what to do next. Okay, so uh, we also think about the in voluntary action. Sorry, voluntary action like writing, talking, moving a chair, clapping at the end of the program are the example of voluntary actions, which are based on deciding what to do next. So the brain also has to send message to the muscles okay so in a uh, also in a uh, in uh, voluntary action brain uh, brain uh, uh, brain brain play an important role by sending messages okay this is a second way in which the nervous system communicates with uh, the muscle and uh, this one is the second way okay in which the nervous system communicates with the muscles the communication between uh, the central nervous system and the other parts of the body is facilitated by the peripheral nervous system consisting of cranial nerve arising for the brain and the spinal nerve arises from the spinal cord okay so is uh, the communication between the spinal uh, uh, nervous system and uh, the other parts of the body facilitated by the peripheral nervous system consisting of cranial nerve that is arises from the brain and the spinal nerve arises from our spinal cord okay the brain does uh, also us think uh, and uh, take action based on the thinking. 
Okay, our brain also, our brain also, our brain also allows to think and uh, take action based on the thinking. As you will expect, uh, this uh, this is. accomplished through a complex design with different parts of the brain respons responsible for integrating different inputs and outputs okay so uh, this this uh, accomplished Accomplisher uh, thought a uh, complex design with uh, different parts of the brain responsible for integrating different inputs and outputs. The brain has three such major parts of our region, namely the forebrain, midbrain, and hindbrain. Okay, the uh, the brain divided into three major regions like. Major parts like uh, namely the fourth brain, mid brain, and hand brain. Okay, the fourth, fourth brain is the main thinking part of the brain. Okay, it has the it has the reasons which receives sense, uh, sensory impulses for uh, various receptors. Okay, fourth brain uh, is uh, the main thinking part of our brain okay it receive which receive uh, sensory impulses from various receptors okay separate area for the fourth brain and specialized for hearing smelling sight and so on okay separating area of the fourth brain are specialized for hearing smelling sighting and so on there are separate areas for uh, separate uh, separate areas areas of uh, association where uh, these sensory information is interpreted by putting it together with info information from other receptors as well as with information that are already stored in the brain okay and uh, these areas of uh, association where uh, the where this sensory sensory information is interpreted by putting it together with information for other receptors as well as with information that is already stored in the brain also give Based on uh, all this, a decision is uh, made about how to respond and the uh, information is uh, passed on to the motor area which control the movement of voluntary muscles, for example, our uh, leg muscles. Okay, and all this, uh, all this. And based on all this, a decision is made about uh, how to respond and how to respond and information is passed. How to respond and uh, this information is passed by motor area, okay, which controlled by the movement of voluntary muscles. For example, our leg muscles, okay. However, uh, certain uh, sensations are uh, distinct for uh, seeing or uh, seeing or hearing hearing for example uh, how do we know that uh, we have bitten enough the sensation of feeling full is because of central associated with hunger which is in a separate part of food brain okay uh, Sensation are uh, distinct from uh, seeing or uh, hearing. For example, 
how do we know that uh, we have eaten enough so uh, in a uh, how we know that uh, we eaten enough so the uh, the so the sensation of uh, feeling is full because of central associated with hunger which is in a uh, separate part of our forebrain this one is also our part of the forebrain this one is known as forebrain this part is known as in brain and this one this part is known as mid brain okay study the level diagram of the human brain we have seen that uh, uh, the different parts having uh, a specific function can we find out the function of each part we can see that uh, uh, every part uh, play an uh, specific function okay like force brain uh, helps to as to respond how to respond okay and it is the main part of thinking of our brain okay and it control voluntary action like uh, learning reading okay in the question can we find out the function of each part let us look at the other use of word reply that we have talked about in the introduction okay in introduction we already talked about the uh, reflex word okay word reply our mouth water when we see food we like without or meaning to so our mouth started watering after seeing food okay or our our heart beat without our thinking about it and our heart beats without thinking about it okay so this one is all uh, these two are uh, involuntary action okay that is not uh, under that is not in uh, under the control by us okay that is on a involuntary action okay in fact we can, uh, we cannot control these action easily by thinking about them even if we wanted to do if we wanted to okay so we can't stop we can't control these actions okay like heart beat and uh, uh mouth started watering after singing food okay we can't control this actions okay so this one is involuntary action okay do we have to think about or remember to breathe or digest food so in a, between the simple reflex action like change in the size of pupil and uh, the thought out uh, action such as moving up here there is another set of uh, muscles movement over which we do not have any thinking control okay so in the uh, between in the simple uh, between simple reflex action like uh, changing in the size of pupil and uh, and the thought action out the such as uh, moving a chair okay so this uh, and uh, there is another set of muscle movement that is present in our eyes so we do not uh, have any thinking control so we can we, can, we can't control on uh, this action okay have thinking control we don't have any thinking control many of these involuntary actions are controlled by the midbrain and hand brain okay and uh, many involuntary actions like heart beating breathing okay <laughs> uh, many involuntary action are controlled by the mid brain and the hand brain okay all these involuntary actions included blood pressure salivation and vomiting are controlled by the 
medulla in the hindu brain blood pressure vomiting i control this uh, we are not vomiting and uh, blood pressure are not in the control is and voluntary action okay so it controlled by medulla medulla okay that is present in our hindu brain mostly uh, involuntary action are controlled by the midbrain or hindbrain and uh, voluntary action are controlled by the okay. our forebrain okay think about the activities like uh, walking in a straight line riding a bicycle putting up a pencil these are possible due to a part of the midbrain called uh, cerebellum called cerebellum okay so uh, all these uh, things like uh, walking in a straight line riding a bicycle pick up a pencil all this is possible only due to the part of in brain that is called cerebellum okay so is uh, cerebellum okay it is responsible for uh, uh, precision uh, of uh, voluntary action and uh, maintaining the posture and the balance of the body and uh, the in brain is, that is called uh, cerebellum is also responsible for voluntary action and maintaining the posture and the balance of the body okay here is a question that uh, imagine what would happen if each of these event fail to take place if we when we were not thinking about it okay imagine <coughs> what would happen what would happen if uh, each of these event fail to take place if we want if we were not thinking about it Next, next topic. Now, in the next topic, that uh, how are these tissue, tissue protected? Okay, we will discuss in the next video. So, I hope you understand uh, about the human brain. That is, uh, they are brain are divided in uh, three parts like forebrain, midbrain, and Last one is hind brain. Okay, fourth brain is responsible for uh, voluntary action. Okay, like thinking, learning. Okay, and, and uh, mid uh, also uh, mid brain is uh, and mid brain and uh, hind brain are responsible for involuntary action like heartbeat, vomiting, breathing, blood pressure. Okay. So, uh, involuntary action are controlled by the midbrain and hindbrain. Okay. So this is all about human brain. So that's all for today. Thank you. Have a nice day.